What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the VOD channel. And as you can see today, we have the return of Catfish. Let's cheer again for that. Uh, also, as you can see, I got a haircut. And this is just me looking for an excuse for validation and compliments in the comments. Wow, Ryan, you look great. And I'll tell you why, because I've had a rough couple months and I feel like I've made it out the other side and I feel bonita and that is rare for me. Um, yeah, I did. I had like a little mullet going and I'm back to looking like the uh, knockoff version of Ryan Gosling, the off brand. Uh, which, by the way, I don't mind because some off-brand cereal is just as good as regular cereal, um, and it's much cheaper. I went to, I think it was CVS to pick up medication because I'm on Lexapro now, and I have this big, look at that, I mean, I have this big thing here. I take my, my okay, well, I need to refill it, but I'm like an old man. Uh, and they had Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it was $9. Oh, hey! Oh, no. For a box of cereal. Something ha that should be illegal. We need to arrest the manufacturers that do that. But um yeah. So back to catfish on the channel. I know you hopefully you guys are pumped for that. Uh go birds behind me. It's Thanksgiving, so go birds as in turkeys, but also the Eagles are eight and one. I'm an Eagles fan. If you're not, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Um thumbs up the video before we start, please. For the return of catfish. Can we do five hundred? If not, I'll still make more videos, but it would be nice. Um, and I'm going to do the wheel spin real quick. Uh, I'll get this over with now. Let's see who the shout out of the day is. A lot of people love this. All you have to do to enter is just comment something. It doesn't even matter. You could say I want to be on the wheel, but you don't really have to. Okay. I put your name inside of the slot. Today is green for the Eagles. Good. Ow. How that hurt. Okay, today's shout out of the week is Walid. Three, oh, two, four, Walid. Thank you for leaving a comment on the video. Thank you for supporting the channel. You are today's shout out of the day. Thank you for that. Do a little gobbler dance here. And before I shut up, the last thing I'll say is if you want to watch some of these live, I do these on Twitch. And it's fun. I like having you guys there live. Uh, Twitch.tv slash NotRyanAbe. Come follow me and then you can see one of these live. It's fun, I promise. Um, we have a good time on the stream. But all right, let's get it going today. We are doing 10 years of excuses. Is she dealing with a catfish? Then that video is going to lead in to the follow-up because it looks like they might cliffhang us here and I don't like that. So put my big giant... Uh, airport style headphones on I think I'm about to land an airplane but I'll tell you these do work the best okay I can hear really well in these obviously um, let's take a look at the video here we go little MTV it's been a bit has it's been months and months since I've reacted to an MTV show I'm happy to be back sorry that I kept you waiting for so long thanks for all the support on the Sam and Colby series appreciate that a lot all helps me out in the back end. So, all right, here we go. Let's get it started. Stephanie has been talking to Danny for almost 10 years. As much as I've tried to like move on, I just, like, I can't let it go. Let After it 10 go. years, what is this guy let hiding? Uh oh. The phone number. This Wait. is probably the little like 20 second blurb, and then uh, if so I know this the show Facebook well. Page. Oh, no. It's gonna go like boom. Is it possible that she's been talking to this lady the whole time? Whenever I do try to be vulnerable, it happens. All right, you ready? That's real. No. Oh boy. Yep, I knew it. Okay, another Los Angeles, day where I'm from. Well, I'm from Philly, There's but I live like in LA. Heat wave. See, now that immediately, that background reminds me of a Sephora. You know? You feel what I'm saying? Going through Los Angeles. The AC is broken. I'm excited to see Cammy. Love my, my future wife, like Cammy. 79 degrees. Ridiculous. I have this fan. It's doing absolutely Love nothing. me a good dice. We still can't go anywhere. So, for the moment. Oh, this is during quarantine. Right it's just crazy to look back at the, co the COVID quarantine part of uh, 2020. It doesn't feel real. It feels like it didn't exist now, three years later. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I mean, it was just one of the weirdest periods ever. I hope it's never weirder than that. Although I did like the excuse of staying home. I will say that. Now I don't really have that. You picked out that outfit, Cleo? This is a, hat. This is a beautiful dress. This is a Christmas egg. This is a necklace. <laughs> this is my to toy poodle. This is some unicorn pants. Wow. This is ballet shoes. That's like one of those TikToks where it's like, how much is the shirt, man? They're like 1100 How about the pants? 1500 I have the shoes. If I was on that, it'd be like uh, twenty-five dollars. The pants, twenty dollars. The shoes, nineteen dollars. Ballet shoes. Wow. Okay, maybe Need like ninety. Makeup. Great outfit, Biggie. So hot. Love Biggie. So what do I do? Shout out Biggie. I shout out to Pod. What do I get? This. Looking forward to cracking open another case. I know Neve's got money. That's a nice view. It's so hot. The nice view. Let's that's that's got money. Come in the zoom. I like the oh. Zoom episodes. They're honestly kind of cozy. Look, the AC is broken. <clears throat> I'm oh, waiting really? for them to come and fix it. Cammy Wait, looking beautiful as thing? always. It's an ice roller. I got it on Amazon. How does it work? You put it in the freezer. You take it out. It's cold. Oh my god. Put it everywhere. This has been surviving. Why wow. use that? Anyway, so let me pull up my email here. It says, Hey, All right, Stephanie. Cammy. My name is Stephanie. I'm a single mom to twin boys, and I live Love it. in Kissimmee, Florida. Just I've been talking to a guy named Danny from San Fran for almost 10 years. No. That's the thing. If at any He's point like they it. say they have not talked on video, something is wrong. Because after 10 years, you are not, you are, you don't even exist to me if we haven't seen each other or we haven't met on video in 10 years you are an invisible friend you are you are barely human the other guys i have been into yeah he's not real Danny is sweet loving and supportive i can't get him off my mind In the night, I want it probably won't be danny but let's but find out for nearly a decade we've been on and off and as soon as things start to get serious he goes ghost yep But right when I entertain a new relationship, Danny comes back. Uh oh, he's a jealous him. ghost. And I end up breaking things off with whoever I'm dating because I just don't like them as much as him. That literally just happened again, and I don't know what to do. After all these years, we still haven't met. See, or even. I mean, at that point, you got to move on, Steph. I love it, right? I love you. You, you seem great. If it's been 10 years. Run. Just run. Go, hinge. Right? Anything. Anything's better. Go to a Wegmans, a Ralph's, and just stand by the peppers and look confused. Somebody, some dude will come up. Okay? Ten years. No video chat. Let's find out why. I'm sure there were several earthquakes. Okay, I'm sure he has lost several phones. His Wi-Fi went out for six years. We'll find out what it is. Video chat. Good night. But wait, wait. Thank you, Cammy. I'm at a point now where I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Danny says he wants to be with me, and I think I'm ready to be with him too, but well, I after need 10 stability years, I for so. me and my kids. So it's either now or never. Probably never. Oh, the brush is out. The therapy brush is out. As soon as you said 10 years, I was like, I think oh. that's the earliest. I think that's the earliest the brush has come out. 10 years, by the way. What's that? How many months is that? 120 months? I'm terrible at math. Nobody make fun of me if that's not right. A long time. How many days is that? Like over 5,000. Think about that. My forehead. Why is my forehead so shiny? It's such a big forehead. Shout out to anybody watching that has a big forehead. We're in this together. You know? There's not much you could do about it. Besides just stare at it and land a plane on it. Stephanie's available here. Hey, Sam, this is Neve and Cammie. Just read your email. OMG, we need to talk. OMG. Bye. Wow. A decade. I mean, it's, it's been on and off. And obviously, unless her kids are older than 10. Well, it's been more off than yeah, on if they've never seen each other. That would be more off there. than on, yeah. in my opinion. But to, to be talking to someone for 10 years, this relationship goes back to the beginning of Catfish. The, the, the beginning of Earth. The, the beginning of time. Term. The documentary Catfish came out in 2010. That means that 
I need to watch that, that documentary. I've been doing this. I was 17. I was Miss Teen USA. What? Cammy was Miss Teen <laughs> USA. I mean, look, she is a a 10, so I get it, but dude, Cammy's been that girl. She's been her. 2010? Yes. That was a good year for us. That ass. What a throwback. Wow. 2010, but I was making parodies, years, music parodies. What are you actually doing to be stalling? Do you ever want to watch my music parodies? Type in four skits and giggles, one word. Instead of for shits and giggles, it's for skits and giggles. I used to make skits, then I made parodies. If you feel like watching some uh, and watching me 13 years ago. Do like Weird Al style parodies to LMFAO songs. Go ahead and check it out. They're still up. Oh. Hey! hey! Stephanie! How are you? Oh my god. How are things down in Kissimmee? It's crazy with this whole like corona crap going on over here now. It's a lot. I mean, Florida's getting hit pretty bad. Yeah. Thank right, God so we're over with that. What are you doing Kissimmee? Oh, I'm so um, over that I word. I do customer service and I have a cosmetology degree. So, oh, cool. I'm like a little bit of everywhere. Cammy has an astrology degree. Yes. Uh, is that what's real? Sign? Scorpio. So, go ahead and tell I me what's I wrong. I that was with real. Me, I'm Cammy. a Cancer. No, I'm a Scorpio too. What's wrong okay. with you? What's wrong with me? <laughs> so, wait a second. Time out because your story goes all the way back to 2010. Exactly. And at the time, I was really oh, into different. modeling. There was a guy, Danny. He was a photographer. I wanted. Okay, let's look at his photos. Some, like a farm, some water, some sky, a tree. No judgment, but pretty basic stuff here. To work with him. Give me some bokeh First, at I least. Kept the professional. I was like, I want to work with. Hey, I love your work. Let's do something together. Hey, let's take pictures of brush together. Call me, ma'am. She just hit hit her with the number. You, I want to like. Dropping the number on the Facebook. And he was like really into it. Hey, it's Danny. Totally down to work with you. How old are you though? Okay, he's coming out with the age thing, even though she just wanted to take pictures of nature. And like, then respect. when I told him how old I was. Ah, I'm under, okay, so he knew I'm under 18, but I've been doing modeling for years now. He was like, no, I'm not doing it. Okay, good. Hey, you know what? Respect. Respect for Danny there. Was he in Florida? Yeah, he was out in Miami at okay. that time, yeah. So I'm it in sounds Miami. like he was just sort of being smart and responsible and said no thanks. But how did that then turn into a 10-year romance? We like liked each other's stuff. We commented. It was just like we kept it very social. Right. And then I turned 18 and I was like, nothing's stopping. Oh, wow. I like humor. And <laughs> he was really ready. funny. So we would talk to each other all the time and it just started getting growing from there. Eventually, like later on, we spoke about meeting, but he had moved to San Francisco. Okay. So we started planning. Like Sent at 420, by the way. Out today, the uh, the green smokers. I am now four months sober of any marijuana. I quit smoking. I'll cheer for that, even though I, I still support it. I still support it. It's just it was it was too much for me and my anxiety. And I've been on Lexapro for almost four months now too. So a uh, little life update there. I feel like I I feel like better. Not like I'm not anxious, but. When I'm walking, I don't feel like people are following me anymore when I'm smoking. <laughs> no, but seriously. Like, I was planning to go to San Francisco to stay there, be with him. He was, like, really into it. He wanted to be together. He wanted me to, like, meet okay, his wow, family. Wow, wanted to meet the mom. We, he wanted to start a family. Also, I spy a hookah in the he background. I actually, used to love a good hookah. I haven't smoked nicotine in almost three years. Uh, I had a phase where I was very addicted to nicotine, and I was smoking puff bars. Like, it was literally my job. The guy at the store literally knew my name. It was a really embarrassing time in my life. But no nicotine, no nothing. I do drink a lot of soda, though. I can't stop. I tried this month quitting soda. This I'd look like a giant. This is a small can. I promise my hands aren't that big. Like, I have big hands the size of my head, but that's a small can. Excited, but then you just went ghost for, like, two weeks. Went so ghost, what call Sam and Colby. Back after two weeks of ghosting. That's when I become this crazy Latina. Like I asked him, I was like, where have you been? Like, 
what happened is there a problem and he was like no he's blaming the time difference it was the fact that he's worked too much blaming the he's time difference on ghosting when he live in australia he's not stable because he lives with roommates and then the same stuff happened he's there i will say cammy's wall reminds me of a barcode i feel like you could scan it and get a discount on something he went ghost it's a cycle hi how are you bye the same thing always What's the That's because he's you not real. Gone just without talking. It's like probably not talking a at girl. All, like a couple months. Dead. Over I've ten years. Tried to like move on or like with any other relationship, he's still in the box. She's of my down mind. bad. There's I feel I feel for her, him, but she's down bad. You can just tell. Just, like I can't let it go. But obviously, I mean, you had a relationship with your kid's dad. Did you ever tell Danny about that? Yeah, he knew about it. He knew that I was with somebody else, but at that point he had gone ghost for a long time. I like how mm. she said that, a long. And he obviously came back. Yeah. And since this whole crazy pandemic and quarantine, have you guys been talking more? Yeah. Wow, so you've really like for 10 I'm gonna be years, honest, I was texting everybody during COVID. <laughs> I'm not even, I was like trying to find old teachers and see how they're doing. I don't know if anyone else did that. I was hitting up friends I haven't spoken to in legit a decade. And I'd be like, what's up? How was it been? Remember eighth grade? <laughs> I was just feeling super nostalgic. There was also nothing to do. I couldn't even go to Target or Walmart, which is usually my escape. So I was hitting up everybody I could find. Much. You've been in contact almost nonstop for the last 10 years. Yeah. Do you talk on the phone or do you just text? We're just texting. Oh, God, there it is. Do you even talk to him on the phone? No. That's absurd. That's absurd. <laughs> That's absurd. 10 years, not even one phone call. No audio messages. Bruh. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. Stephanie. That's ridiculous. It's probably a girl, which is probably why this Danny, maybe it's Danielle, has not talked to you or met with you in 10 years, okay? Has he ever sent you, like, private photos? Yes. Just, like, of even course of his he... face or of other things? Everything that I've seen is what's on Oh, social media. come on. Hoist the flag up. Oh, hell no. Hoist the red flag up, Stephanie. He's never sent you a photo that's not on social media. Oh my gosh. I got bad news for you. Has he ever texted you a this photo of himself? No. In 10 years? Nothing. No. Have you I just laughed like Waluigi. That's insane. What is this relationship built off of? You sent him yeah, that? I would send him pictures like, hi, I'm normal, I exist. This oh, is no, insane. I, I get it. This is insane. Did you see his Instagram? Yeah. All right, so here's Danny. All right, there he is. He's got the Pharaoh. Oh, he's made in New Jersey, of course. 4,800 followers. He's following 1,000. Okay. I mean, I don't know. It looks like a pretty typical profile. Okay. Is that him in the uh, on the top right corner? Yeah. The teddy bear. <laughs> and then he's also in the red shirt, right? Yeah. So then he likes dogs. A that's guy that's with nice. Shaved head. Yeah, that's his best friend who he died like a year ago. He took it like oh. really to heart. Mm. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. In terms of Instagram profiles, this one seems authentic and normal. It is a very full. Yeah. Usually account. they only have one post. They have like three hundred followers, and they're following four thousand people. Compared to most catfish yeah. accounts. Yeah, I mean, that's on semi one good hand, sign, but the situation seems absurd. How, yeah. how if this and guy is real and they've been posting and ho talking for 10 years and this guy has 244 posts on Instagram and let's say they've all been since then, he hasn't taken one photo to send to her. So even if he is real, well, that's ridiculous and they shouldn't be together because he clearly doesn't make her a priority. Yet, what makes it even crazier is that this guy and his life and, and his Instagram are all pretty believable. Well, what if we find like those out tats. that this cool guy's tat lying on the and it goes numbers. away? I would be tat, completely, like, I'd be so hurt. I'd be, like, devastated, I guess it would uh, get. Get to ready to be hurt. I don't just, I don't want to believe that 10 years of my life was wasted for nothing. Oh, boy. You still have hope for the situation. Exactly. If he is real, I want to be able to try now. <laughs> 
because I'm just ready he's to very keep cons- my persistent. life pushing. So if he's real, that's what I'm going to do. And if he's not, then I have to let it go. I, it's just not something that I can keep living with. Oh, boy. Right, well, we've got our work cut out for well. us. I don't want to waste another moment. Send us all that info, and we'll dive. Okay. We're going to dive right in. not going to end well, got Stephanie. Right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't feel good about this. What do you think? This is crazy, huh? If it wasn't for the fact this that she was young yeah. when they met, I would think that she was nuts. Because right. 10 years with someone, I mean, trying to put myself back in 2010, 10 years ago, FaceTime did not exist yet. Right. Look. Okay. Cammy, sure. And she's right. FaceTime didn't exist yet. But you know what did exist and that everyone used? Skype. <laughs> okay. Skype. Uvu. You could be on fucking Omegle if you wanted to, okay? <laughs> Let's not forget about Skype, which was the best. I used to call my friends on Skype, and we would be on calls for 10 hours. Sometimes we wouldn't even talk for three hours. We would just be on a call. I don't know, like six of us. So. Look, what's super suspicious is no excuses why for Dan here. Talk on the phone. I think that suggests that it could be a woman. Yes, exactly I what I said. Like, what is this guy hiding? Exactly what I said. Years? What is the big secret? What's the tea? What's the tea? They're going to get on a call and it's going to be like, Hi, Steph. Never been... All right. Now let's go to part two. Every lie Danny told Stephanie was true. All right, let's see what happens here. We have to call the number. I like can't. Take I know. We the we gotta just figure this out. Anticipation. Let's get it going. All right, here we go. Will it be a girl? You ready? No. Well, we're here. <laughs> if it's actually a dude, I will be surprised. If it's actually Danny, I will be. I'll give a triple wow on my soundboard. Girl, my crazy's gonna come out. Please leave your message for. Ah, uh, shocking. Hello, Shocking. this is a message for Danny. Uh, if that's even your name. I to ask you questions. If you could give me a call back, that would be great. Uh, okay, great, thanks, bye. Let's see if anyone gets back to me, jeez. What if the episode is just 13 minutes of waiting? It's just this music nonstop and they just troll. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 and I'm getting a phone call. <gasps> Hello? Huh? Hey, um, uh, what's up, Paul? Uh oh, it sounds like a dude. Yeah, hey, is this Danny? Yeah, what's up? Shut up. Okay, that's the first time she's ever heard his voice. I need to know more about that. Why did Neve just get this guy to talk to him on the vo on the phone and knew him for a day? She's known him for 10 years. Why am I doing that? And she hasn't got him on the phone? What's this about? This is the first time she's ever heard his voice. This is Neve um, from that show Catfish. Okay. Um, I'm calling. Did we we didn't speak yesterday? Though, There's a lot we? I need to know. Uh, no. Okay, I am talking to your friend Stephanie and trying to figure out if I can help you guys finally. Rug looks real comfy. You know, it looks cool cozy underneath. That's an expensive rug. For the first time. Because Good rugs aren't cheap. A long time coming. I don't know Stephanie. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, she's so pissed. Oh, hell no. He's like, oh, you don't? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, boy. I really don't. Oh. Um, this oh. makes no sense. So, okay. Okay. I, got, so I need answers. I got this number from her, and she's telling me... But maybe it still is, is a girl. Maybe this guy doesn't know who she is. Danny on. I'm trying to figure out how it's possible that you wouldn't know who she is if it's the same number. Oh, he's lying. All right. Um, he's lying. Yes, you did talk to me yesterday. <laughs> what the? And yes, I am the guy. And so it's <laughs> this dude lied and then told the truth in 15 seconds. Okay, so we did talk yesterday. Yes, we did. I talked to two people yesterday. I talked to an Anthony and I talked to Danny. And were those both you? Yes. No. Uh -huh. um, Anthony is my friend. Um, you spoke to him. Right. And then I called you. So it has been you talking to her for the last 10 years. Correct. Oh, yeah, well, that, well, that's good. That wasn't least. the same as this number. So you you do have two numbers then that you use? Yeah, because I work phone. Work phone. Okay. So what the f If 
It is you. It's always the work phone. And I'm confused as to... Don't trust people with two phones, okay? I don't trust people with two phone numbers and two phones. Okay, you might have a work phone, but you ain't using it for work, okay? There's no way that the work phone has only people from work on it, and I stand by that, all right? I know people with three phones. My roommate JC has three phones. <laughs> but he's rich and famous, so... Like, why, and I'm sure you, gets you a pass. can agree, like, it's been hard for Stephanie to get just sort of any kind of confirmation that you are you all these years. Yeah, because I don't FaceTime or yeah, you don't really say. talk on the phone. Okay. Lies. Well, is there any way you would feel comfortable showing us your face in the, in like a Zoom call? Like, look, I get it. I don't like the FaceTime either because I don't like how my face looks in the front of the camera. I just look like my, like, the, you know, why the long face joke, like a horse or something. But if I'm talking to someone and I like them and they like me and they're like, I'm scared you're not real. And we just quickly FaceTime. I'm not going to say no. Like, that would be weird. So I don't, that's not an excuse. Just saying I don't like FaceTime. Not an excuse, uh, especially if this was two months, whatever. We're talking about two, uh, uh, a decade. I'm gonna clear this up. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do it. Okay, I'm surprised okay, you say, wow, I'm okay. surprised. <laughs> yeah, look, I get I it. That. It's been a long time. No, get <laughs> So hey, we'll great. be expecting to see you shortly. <laughs> get on there. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Something's up here. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. He seems scared. Liar. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I don't know if I the should believe anything liar. he says, obviously, but he's just making this yeah. up as he goes. What is the truth? Like yesterday, you boldface lied on the phone and said that it wasn't you. You didn't right. have anything to do with it. Then you boldface lie again today and say right. it's not you. You don't have anything to do with it. Also, don't call me from the number you're talking to Stephanie on and <laughs> say you're not talking to Stephanie. This dude's a terrible exactly. catfish if he's a catfish. Like, still. Like, if it's not the same looking like, person. If you are you, why are you not being blunt about it? If it is the same looking person, I I am even more confused. Oh, damn, he's ready. Steve. Oh, hey. Okay, and it is hey. dramatic. It is the same guy. See, like what? Wow. That's a lot of stickers back there. So what? Then what? <laughs> I was expecting like an eighty-five-year-old man. Hey, Stephanie. The what the? I'm there so confused. Hey, <laughs> it's you. Hey, I don't understand, man. What? What? What's going on? I just, you know, I just don't like FaceTiming. I don't it's like so talking much. on the phone. Stop like, it. Just, for example, the other day, my mother screamed at me because I haven't called her in four weeks. And, okay, well, that's you know, sad. Like, it's, it's just now one he's of lying. my things. He's lying, though. Well, yeah, but, but that's all. This is all. This is all not true. It's been 10 years. The reality is I work a lot. No I don't excuse. really have time. Like, in the little time that I do have, like, I barely nice. can even use I don't like that excuse. Okay, a lot of people are busy. Um, you know, there's people. The, the the president, okay, can still text their wife. Okay, <laughs> when I say that, I mean like Obama. I, when I say the president, I just mean Obama. Um, I know nurses that work sixteen hour shifts that will still text game, little you know game invites to the person that they love. You know, little eight eight ball things, or they'll be on their. There's always a way. Right, I'm too busy is never the right excuse, um, unless you work 23 hour shifts, which would be against the law. Okay, it looks like there's some Funko Pops, computer, Xbox. A lot of time went into putting those stickers there. Okay, could have been time to call. Use it for myself, so it's hard to like okay, call but you somebody. You only had to FaceTime once. Let him know, Neve. Don't let him go out easy. I don't know, I feel like you're hiding something. He's working on I'm, them waves. I'm not hiding anything. Like, yesterday you boldface lied on the phone and not said it wasn't defensive. you. Right. And when we talked to you today, you did lie and say that you didn't know Stephanie. What's the tea? Right. It was weird yesterday when we messaged with Anthony. Why was he covering for you? We missed the Anthony I thing, but that's probably a typical, let's call their friend, see if we can get more info. The friend usually has their friends back. Nothing really comes from it. Well, I didn't want to be on TV because, I mean, I do watch the show and I've never thought that I would be somebody on it. Oh, brother. Stephanie told us that over these last 10 years, you guys had talked about her flying out there, you had a plan, she even bought a ticket, and then you disappeared. So what was that about? 
the truth is that I the was truth. ashamed of my living situation. Um, I was ashamed of where I currently live. It's not a great neighborhood. I'm tired of the same answers of this. Damn. I thought she. <laughs> I thought she was about to be like, okay, I. <laughs> she was like, you're dumb. Same. <laughs> to me, it's excuses. I mean, I don't, I don't see it as excuses. Um. Well, here, here's my thing. <laughs> I'm just curious to know. From your side, Henry looks fantastic. What by the this way, whole side. situation means to you? <sighs> Not that much, apparently. I I don't really know, to be honest. Oh my god, this guy sucks. So I think the reality Move on, is Stephanie. that even after ten years, it's just always been an on and off. It just seems like we always argue about dumb stuff, like our conversation the other day. He's gaslighting. Know? And what conversation was that? She texted me at around like five something in the morning. Her yeah, text right. message woke me up. I couldn't go back to sleep. And I sent her a text saying, please try not to text me at 5 a.m. And uh, she flipped out on me. And she has a tendency to always flip out on me all the time. So I'm the bad one. Yep, he's no, flipping. He, basically, they said, okay, so why aren't you talk? Why is this not a thing? And you've been talking for 10 years. Well, if, if she's been that bad to you, then why have you continued to talk to her for 10 years? That would have gone away in one year. And you're not the bad guy. So 10 years of like something that. is going to be defined over a stupid ass argument. Preach, That's definitely. how it's always been. The whole 10 years has always been like that. I don't like that. Like, I, I feel that when that happens, like, I don't really need to be doing this. So like, why even, do you keep doing it? Because, I mean, because, like I said, you've always been a constant in my whole life this as, like, so you know, a friend. Friend. So, like, I mean, I would love to, like... A friend. Damn. That and hurts. you agree that it has leaned towards... This dude is digging a whole deep... Potential relationship. You might find she some told us fucking water down there. Starting a family. Those are all things that you do with, you know, someone who's a little bit more than just your friend. I don't know if it's like a love thing. I mean, yes, I love her as a friend. But like, oh, it's like a man. <laughs> I know she's furious right now. If you if you really love somebody and you want to be with them and then they hit you with the I love you as a friend. It ain't it ain't fun. That that cuts deep. That don't feel good. I know what she's feeling right now. I've been there before. I've gotten the whole I love you like a brother. And I'm like, well, that's fucking terrible to hear. So oh, thank you. Okay, we're not family. Okay, so don't give me that. Oh, All bullshit, right? This ain't working. The actual like romance love thing, like I, it's I don't know. It's it's just throughout those whole ten years, it's just always been a constant. Like I said before, I feel like we eventually need to take them one on one. I feel he's not being completely honest about the way he feels. I agree. He's just making excuses, saying I love her as a friend. Right after he said she annoys the hell out of me, it not adding up. Okay, I'm not a mathematician. I suck at math. I can barely long divide, but the math ain't math. And whose fault is that? Danny, can we just talk, me and you, for a second, and let Stephanie and Cammy talk for a second? Cammy's sure. gonna flip out. Watch. Um, I'll be a girl. So okay, it feels like she really just pissed you off too much. You just stopped talking to her. But if you're not into her, you need to tell her because <laughs> she. Obvious voice over there. Off too much, you just stop talking to her. But if you're not into her, if you're not into her, you need to tell her. You need to tell her because she deserves, I think, to finally know. Because you know, look, she's even said to us she's dated other guys and constantly finds herself comparing them to you and doesn't want to date those guys because she's like, man, I, I think I just like Danny better. I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that. That's uh, well. <laughs> now he's gonna love her even more. What is going on in there? I don't think I would have been this mad if it wasn't him. Yeah. But it's actually him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's even more confusing. Any of his excuses? Like, are you buying any of them? No. No. The whole about arguing for 10 years. If it was as bad as you made it seem, why are we still here? I agree. Everybody argues. Right? Like, no relationship is perfect. If you think that it is, you haven't seen the full relationship. Everybody has bad days, bad moments, little annoying arguments. <clears throat> Sometimes they strengthen and bond, bond the relationship together. <clears throat> you know, and if you are arguing every day, 
you're not seeing each other and you're not dating, then you can just call it off. You can just stop. He's been back and forth for 10 years, which means something is not right here. So the question is like now, what's where do you want this to go? Because there does seem to be a, a real foundation here and potential for romance. And but I'm not necessarily getting a sense this, from but... you that you're interested in either admitting that or actually feeling that. So I'm just trying to kind of no. I, I I admit I admit it. I mean, for me to sit here and say you just that said I don't you love her as a friend. You just said you love her as a friend. You literally just said that. You basically called her a sister. Okay, Danny, make your mind up. Her, I don't have any type of attraction or anything like that is a lie. Okay. There's always going to be a right. feeling there for her, always. If I was to lose her completely, I'd be very upset. Even saying that now kind of like shakes me up a little bit. Oh. Pick a, pick a side, brother. It pick just a side. feels like he's not ready to make a decision on you. At the same time, though, he's willing to drag you along and this decade-long journey. Like, for me or for him, it's like not fair. Like her eyes shadow. I'm interested sunset. in seeing what could possibly happen. And, no, you know, get him out. Get him out. Part is behind right. us. Get him out of here. And the okay. fact that he's not even wearing a shirt. <laughs> okay, that's a bad joke. That's like a, ca a camo joke. Get it? Because it's he's not. Okay. Cool. Why am I gonna keep giving you light of day? These are two very different this, combos happening right now. She's angry, and now he wants her. That. Let's put the past in the past if that's what you want to do, and let's finish this. Yeah. Stephanie is ready to talk, and she's got something to say. Da da da. Let's put the past in the past if that's what you want to do, and. Yeah. Let's finish this. Now he's going to get all upset yeah. and say he misses her. Let's see. Let's see where he's at. But like, I know how you feel. You're not going to sit on here and let him play you out more than he already has. Okay, he's ready. Kind of looks like a Stephanie, poor man's J. Cole. Take it away. It's L. Cole. I feel like you told your truth and you said what you actually had to say and you meant it. So why am I, why am I going to keep trying? I mean, it's not like I don't have feelings for you. I definitely do. Um, As a friend. Uh, yep, exactly. you know, maybe Call that out. was just a wrong choice of words. I yeah. shouldn't have said. Yeah, you think that's a pre <laughs> that's a pretty rough choice of words, I would say. I said it like that. I know all this is my fault, and I f***ed it up. So for you to be upset, oh, now you he's, have every right he's to flipped the and whole script. I admit that, and. Things that we've talked feel about, like, he's like plans and her. stuff like that, is stuff that I've truly wanted. And you know, there was opportunity I don't it. coming out here, and you know, I, I that up. I didn't have you come out here, and you know, I was I was wrong in that, and I admit it, and I apologize. I'm sorry. Don't I think don't do it, Stephanie. We actually try to actually talk, like on the phone, as opposed to text all the time. So this man just said. 10 minutes prior that he doesn't talk in the phone he he hates it he doesn't even talk to his mom now he's suddenly saying look we gotta talk on the phone more i just feel like he's saying this because he's on tv and neve and cammy is right there because after 10 years of not doing it now suddenly she's about to leave him she's about to say enough's enough i'm done now suddenly he loves the phone he's like you know what i just got a new headset I got rollover minutes. Remember when that was a thing? Rollover minutes? I think that it would definitely help out our situation and improve things. Get him out of here. I don't know. I don't, just feel like... Don't fall for it. I've been strung along for so long that for me to open up to somebody, it's hard. Yeah, as do I. She so hasn't opened I, up I get it. It's been a long time and, you know... I personally don't think that we've actually ever really, really had a chance to, you know, explore. That's crazy. This. In 10 I years, think that's that crazy. There is potential to have something. But don't is it, it really what you want, though? Like, do you really want to see where things could go with her? Because know, you guys Kami. live on opposite ends of the country. I'm sure that you have people local that you could talk to. Stephanie, I'm sure, has people local that she could talk to. I mean, there's obviously a reason why we keep coming back into communication with each other. It always seems to be oh, that God, whenever I'm feeling go. down, 
or whenever I'm going there through we go. something, Here's a violin. you have a sense of it and you always reach out to me at the perfect time. And little do you know, you have always been there for me at times. I'm not buying it. That I needed somebody. You've always been there for me, but then when you wanted to hang out with me, I didn't want to hang out with you, but you've been there for me. But I won't let you be there for me in person, just when it's convenient. It's like, come on, we've heard this a thousand times on the show, okay? I've watched a thousand episodes. Do you have anyone else that's close to you in your life, I'm still Danny, not that you buying feel it. like you can confide in the way that you talk to Stephanie? Uh, I did. No, I did no, no, my no, best friend. But... The friend and look, RIP to his friend. That sucks. But still. This is not that not, has nothing to do with Stephanie and him ghosting her multiple times a year. Right? Or I repeat it, his friend. We heard about that, and I'm really I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, so. I think it's even more reason to know, like, when you have somebody in your life. That's I just still feel like you. he's only doing this take advantage of because that. it's like the one yeah, that I you can't I have. I didn't learn that until, you know, my friend passed, so. Well, that's why I would love to have another opportunity that's wrong to show too. you. Okay, I'm not trying to go after this guy, but if your friend passed last year and you learned that then, then why would you be in this situation now? You would have If that happened, you would have been like, wow. Stephanie, we're going to make this work a year ago because of what happened, not because MTV is calling you on Zoom. You, who I really am. Okay. Oh. After all that. I'm like, Cammy. she's like, uh, okay. But your words right now, <laughs> like words right now, is going like this, like, so until I see action, then I'll start believing. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I, heard you I know she's happy, but I it ain't gonna end well. I'll tell you that much. Of uh, this ain't my first rodeo watching this. I know everybody watching this is going. Yep. Yep. We don't even need an update. Same shit's gonna happen. There you go. Everybody <laughs> okay. is so happy. I'm I'm good with that. Show them in the yeah. yeah show them at the sunset. I'll still cheer for the episode itself, but can't even me. But no, no. Now you can't fool me. Okay, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Like Ice Spice and Pink Panther. Is that her name? Pink Panther. That boy's a liar. All right. Well, that was a, a good little saga that we watched there. Forty plus minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm back. Fully to posting content. I may not be able to post a video like every day or every other day because I still have to worry about my eyes. So there's some days when I'm streaming and I can't be on the computer for like four or five hours um, because I got to make this. Then I got to make the thumbnail, post everything, stream. Um, and I still am having neurological issues with my eyes. Um, but I've just dealt with it better. I've learned some things, taken a lot of supplements, lifestyle changes. So I'm not as stressed about it anymore. But my eyes still get can be get like hurt. Um, so, but I'm still going to be posting content on it. You're going to see me more on this channel. Um, I want to do some more ghost. I want to find a couple more series, though, that YouTube is cool with me posting. So hopefully I can find some. Because a lot of times I've been posting stuff on here months ago, and then it'll just get immediately blocked, and you've never seen it before, um, which sucks. But it is what it is. So, all right. Well, if you made it this far, please consider giving the video a like. Please consider commenting something. It can be as simple as, Ryan, your hair looks great or something. Just I'll take the pity comment. It would mean a lot. Um, and if you're still here and you're new, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so you can not lose the channel. Maybe you'll never get to see a video again if you don't subscribe. That would make me sad. So, And follow the Twitch. I would love to have you on the Twitch. I do the Twitch. That's like my full-time gig. So any support I can have on Twitch is very appreciated. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your week. And I will see you guys very soon on Ryan's Average Vods. Peace, everybody.